course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Now, like me, you're all probably absolutely thrilled what Hasbro has been able to do with their Black Series line in terms of the photo reel paint apps. Unfortunately, some of them do come out a little bit glossier than we'd like. Um, it's not great for photography, um, for those of you who are also toy photographers, and just, just the overall aesthetic of the figure. Um, it's one thing I'd love to have Hasbro address, and hopefully they can find a fix for it. It's not happening with every figure, just occasionally. Um, so I basically want to run through a bit of a fix for this today. And all you're going to need is a few sheets of paper towel, and a can of matte clear spray. This is a finishing sealer. I picked this up from uh, Bunnings, if you're here in Australia. Um, if not, uh, any sort of craft store like Michael's in America, um, or hardware store should stock something like this. I went acid free. Um, this is basically just a clear coat, um, and it's a matte spray, so we'll take the sheen out of that figure. Um, and I'm also gonna be using Hunter as a bit of a guinea pig for this one, which I've, I've done this before, so he's not really a guinea pig. I know it's gonna work. So he's my most recent figure, and just the side where he's got the war paint um, just has a little bit more gloss and shine. I wanna try and take that off. So let's run through exactly what I'm gonna do, and we'll, I'll put up some befores and afters. All right, so basically I've just put a hole in the paper towel. This is just to poke the head through, like so. We don't want to get any paint on the rest of the figure. I'm actually going to pop that back back off. That'll give it a little bit more room. And then simply just wrap it up. And that will stop that. Now let's take the let's take the uh, clear coat outside and give it a spray. All right. So got him outside here. It's actually quite a nice warm day. So uh, this shouldn't take long to dry. So. Let's give the can a good shake and then I'm just going to do a couple of light passes over it. And I'm actually going to flip it over and do the back as well. It doesn't, not that it needs it, but um, just to balance it all out, I don't think it'll be too bad. So we'll come back and have a look at that in about half an hour to an hour and see what it looks like. All right, so it's been a couple of hours now. I did come out and give it another another coat, but I actually think I might give it one more. It won't hurt it at all. But uh, yeah, still, I mean, the sunlight, the direct sunlight isn't really helping with the glare, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be reflective on all surfaces. So I might give it one more spray and then we'll take a look. All right, so here we have him back inside, and I want to say it's a uh, definitely an improvement. Uh, there's still a quite a bit of a shine there, but uh, looking at a front on from that, it's nowhere near as bad. I do have my, my ring light like shining right down on it, but if it's not direct, um, it actually turned out pretty well. Um, I will sort of show that in some photos, but the last one I did was the uh, Clone Wars Ahsoka. And she was really glossy. And uh, this one turned out really, really well. It just, uh, you know, completely fixed the figure for me. That was the sort of big complaint I had with this one. So this one worked probably a little bit better, to be honest. Um, this probably wouldn't hurt to go with another, another coat or two. I think I did three or four on Ahsoka. This one I've just left at three, so I could probably go to four or five. Um, but I think for the most part, I'm probably going to display him with his helmet on anyway. Um, so for that, it's not too bad, but it's definitely an improvement on some of the figures. Um, I most recently did it with uh, Count Dooku and um, the new updated Qui-Gon Jinn as well. So yeah, a little bit better, but yeah, stay tuned. I will chuck some before and afters up and uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if there's something you give a shot um, and what were your thoughts.
Anyway, till next time, may the force be with you always.